Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Washington Football Maniacs. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And please, if you don't mind, consider subscribing to this channel. I try to come out with content as frequently as sometimes twice a day, sometimes even more than that. So, especially during the free agency period, right? So anyway, a lot of news to get to. And if you had watched my earlier video, you know, I would have told you that at some point, you know, things could really be heating up. You know, um, it seems like this is going to be a dry free agency for Washington. Well, in a sense, it's not, but it's it's more because we are getting rid of more people than we're picking up. But could it be that we are making room for a big splash? Uh, the reason why I say that is there have been some surprise cuts today that nobody saw coming. Uh, first of all, let's start off with the fact that if we look at this, DeShazer Everett, okay, that was kind of a no-brainer. With all of the issues, uh, off-the-field issues that DeShazer Everett had to go through uh, during the offseason, no surprise that he was going to get cut. But a huge surprise, Eric Flowers getting cut. We had just re-signed him last year. I really was uh, perplexed by this, but even more so, Matt Ioannidis. Matt Ioannidis gets cut. All right, and let me read you something that, um, a little excerpt of what his uh, um agent said, we don't particularly care to be lied to, to our face. And that is what the agent said. Um, I think he was also representing um, Eric Flowers, if I'm not mistaken. They were told that Flowers, Matt and Ioannidis were safe. They were going to try anything they possibly could to bring them back. They did not want to cut them at all. Um, and I would probably say, especially Matt Ioannidis, he has been a workhorse for us. I am very sad to see both of these guys go. But it is more or less, it's to create some cap space for the team. And that is what we're doing now. Obviously, we had to do it because, you know, we're bringing on this $28 million with uh, Carson Wentz's uh, contract uh, that, it's coming over from the Indianapolis Colts. We need to make some cap room to sign some other players. Of course, we still need to try to, uh, you know, work out a deal with uh, Terry McLaurin. But we also need to sign some other players as well. And so all of this really is shaping up. It's saving us. I don't know the exact number. I know that uh, cutting my, Matt Ioannidis, I think, saves us almost about $7 million, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, there, there's going to be some other cuts as well, some June 1st cuts. Um, you know, Landon Collins is going to be a, a June 1st cut. So, you know, there's going to be some savings uh, for this team against the salary cap. I want to say it's going to probably be close to about $20 million when it's all said and done, which is not bad. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I was thinking earlier today, I was trying to, you know, figure it all out. It may be close to about $20 million. So we will be sitting in really good shape, but we're having to give up some players that honestly, a lot of us fans are, are sitting around going, why are we giving up these guys? Now, earlier today, I was talking about or may, I don't know if it was my last video, but it might have been my video the day before that, you know, I was talking about we have to re-sign J.D. McKissick. We've got to because he is such a great one-two punch with Antonio Gibson. And then it's like as soon as I put that video out, boom, there is talk about Antonio Gibson is signing with the Buffalo Bills. And that just tore me up, you know. I was not expecting... And J.D. McKissick to sign with the Buffalo Bills. But wait, there is more. Then Adam Schefter comes out with this tidbit earlier in the day. It was around, I think, uh, 130 or so. J.D. McKissick, who had intended to sign a two-year deal with the Buffalo Bills for $7 million, he changed his mind. 
He changed his mind and is instead returning to the Washington Commanders for the same compensation. That shows you right there, okay, there are players who want to stay and play with his team. And J.D. McKissick was, I want to say he was probably our second leading receiver this past year, um, and he's a running back, right? So that tells you how versatile J.D. McKissick is. He is a very valuable player, and we really need it, J.D. McKissick. So I am so glad to see that he decided to you know, have a change of heart. All that Washington had to do was to make him an offer, and he was going to stay. I don't know why. At first, they didn't even attempt to make an offer to J.D. McKissick. The Bills making him offer. He decides he's going to take it. And then Ron Rivera says, well, I saw the reactions on Twitter, so I reversed course. If, if that's all it takes, then my goodness, people, go out there and flood Twitter. You tell Ron Rivera exactly who we need to get on this team. All of us armchair GMs need to, to get into Ron Rivera's ear and say, we need to get this guy, we need to get this other guy, because maybe we'll actually go to the Super Bowl then. <laughs> Uh, so J.D. McKissick, he comes back. So I am, I'm definitely a lot happier now knowing that J.D. McKissick back. Antonio Gibson, of course, is going to be here. Um, we still have Jarrett Patterson, who, you know, had a pretty good rookie season in his own right. You know, an undrafted rookie free agent um, had a really good uh, season. I thought, you know, once he finally started getting some playing time with us, so. You know, I think we're gonna we're gonna be okay. But now, since we have some space in the salary cap, with cutting some of these other guys, which you know, I'm not too happy about. But then again, who are we making room for? I think there is going to be a splash. You know, my last video said there's probably not going to be any splashes. It's probably going to be a pretty boring free agency. But now we are making room. We're not making room just for the sake of making room. We're, we're obviously, there's a plan in place, and something's going to happen pretty soon. Um, I'm just, you know, it may be tomorrow. It may be tonight. I mean, who knows? It seems to be that whenever that I release these videos, as soon as I upload them to YouTube, something happens. So, guys, maybe I am the good luck charm, or maybe I'm the bad luck charm. I don't know. Either way, as soon as I upload these videos, we get some breaking news for the Washington Commanders, and I, I don't know if I can actually take any type of, <laughs> um, you know, credit for that whatsoever, but just the simple fact that, you know, things are just getting started. So, you know, Yes, we're cutting some players that we, we hate to see go, but there are definitely some changes. Now, we've we've had all these changes. It's like, all right, who have we gotten other than Carson Wentz? Who have we re-signed? You know, Troy Apke. Okay, we've re-signed Troy Apke. We've, um, there's been talk um, on Twitter, I think, uh, Ismail, we've uh, tendered an offer to him, tendered an offer to Brian Johnson. Um, so, you know, we're tendering some offers to some of these guys who are depth players. Um, you know, so that, that might be good for us as well. Uh, we did re-sign um, McCain, I believe it was. So he's coming back. So, you know, we're, we're, we are re-signing some guys. Uh, it looks like we're... Of course, we're bringing Cam Sims back. He's one of my favorites. He's a very valuable player, so I think that's a, that's a good move. I will be very happy once we we know that we have a long term contract for Terry McLaurin. I keep saying that, but I think once we do that, I know that we're going to be okay. But what's going to happen, folks? Maybe all of this is to you know make Terry McLaurin the highest paid wide receiver in the league because that's what it's probably going to take. I, I, especially after the Christian Kirk, um, you know, contract, you probably are looking at a huge contract for Terry McLaurin, and that's what it's going to take to keep him here. 
So Washington is already realizing they're going to have to cut some players to make some cap space for that. You do not want to give up Terry McLaurin whatsoever. So anyway, with that said, what do you guys think? You know, we cut some players that we could definitely have used on this team. Flowers, again, very, very, um, I'm just very surprised at that one. Even more surprised by Ioannidis. He's always been the uh, the constant, just very surprised at that. And it does seem like anytime you turn around, any of these guys, are all of them are going to the Buffalo Bills, you know. All of them, it seems like. Uh, so, you know, let me let me know in the comments section what you think. Who do you think we're going to make a move for now? Now that we have some cap space, we're not tied down to Carson Wentz's uh, contract now. We've got some wiggle room. What is going to happen? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, again, please you know give it a like, share it with your friends, and again, if you're on the fence about it, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, I can use all of your support. Um, also going, going to have um, a sponsor coming on board pretty soon as well. So be looking forward to that. And with that said, hell to the Washington Commanders. Let's go Maniacs. And I'll be back for some more free agency news because I know it is on the way and it's probably going to be in this next video. Ah!